This time we'll talk about hydrogen peroxide. It looks exactly like water and there is only one atom difference between them, but it's dangerous. We use hydrogen peroxide every day to dye our hair or clean, but look what it can also do. We'll start by mixing it with potassium iodide. I use warm hydrogen peroxide for this. You'll never believe how big this reaction is. The peroxide is broken and creates foam. It's also super hot, so take a look at the steam. And now let's do the same thing in a bottle. Two, one. Potassium iodide and hydrogen peroxide create oxygen, which eventually makes the bottle explode. And guys, I promise you, it literally sounded like a bomb. My neighbors thought it was a terror attack. Potassium permanganate reacts with hydrogen peroxide super fast. Check this out. Let's do purple and white. This one is with no soap and the next one will be with some soap. Three, two, one. Potassium permanganate breaks hydrogen peroxide and releases a lot of heat. Let's use sulfuric acid to make something dangerous called a piranha solution. This liquid is called a piranha solution and you better not touch it. It's made by mixing sulfuric acid and hydrogen peroxide and it's able to consume almost any organic matter, even humans. That means that if you touch it, you might lose your finger. Look what it does to a paper. It gets so hot that glass might shatter. You guys already know what a piranha solution is. We make it by mixing hydrogen peroxide and sulfuric acid. And it's able to consume almost anything. Look what it does to nitrocellulose. For the next one, I'll have to get some of my blood first. This is my blood. Did you know that blood is able to break hydrogen peroxide and create foam? But what is it in the blood that is able to break it? Let me know in the comments.